Get it, Papa. bright and early <laughs> another day and there's the inclined railway and unfortunately it's still it's still having some difficulties uh, they said they have yeah, well it's very extremely rare so don't take this as a typical kind of thing uh, it's a, a rare occurrence they have a problem like this and it's some kind of electrical problem it's an it's electric uh, the system it runs on and uh, there's something wrong so they're trying to figure it out and it might be down for maybe the rest of the day they're not sure but uh we'll see what happens i'll have to plan another trip back though so i can get up to the top of the mountain because in the meantime it got all foggy again look that yep look, look up the hill there you can't see the tracks that go behind the trees there but uh it's a little cloudy up there it'd be hard to see stuff but that's how it was yesterday morning <laughs> when I got here. So, anywho, um, yep, that's it. So, we will check out the Incline Railway another time. Oh man, I just passed up the uh, rest area. That makes me want to sing. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Though those bowels are swollen, keep them doggies moving rawhide. Don't try to medicate them, just grease and lubricate them. Soon we'll be sitting high and wide. Although the road gets bumping, we'll all soon be dumping when we get to the end of the ride. in beautiful South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. And if you didn't know, South Pittsburgh, Tennessee is the home of the pirates. Yar! Yar, there be, it's pirate country. Yeah, forget all them mountains and trains and things. We entered pirate country. Yar! We're out to, to check this place that makes skillets of iron. Yar! Skillets for everyone. Yar! <laughs> yes, <laughs> if you survive that, um, you'll be interested in this. Look that! This is the Lodge Factory and they have a big secret museum and, and, and gift shop and all kind of stuff over here. So we're going to find out what exactly they do have and if they do have any cast iron pirates lurking about. And it's iron pot making stuff as far as you can see all the way back there. But look over here. Look that. <laughs> it's a pot and pan people and a dog. The dog's waiting for a snacky. What you cooking up there frying pan man? No, oh, this is Penelope. I'm sorry, they do have names. This is Penelope. Pardon me, Penelope. <laughs> so he's got some delicious looking bacon there. Oh, look that. And this is Ferris. Oh, Ferris has got a little prize in his in his cup hand. <laughs> but he's excited about getting some uh, some barbecue over here. And the dog is lucky.
and and yep that's just the beginning of when you walk into the uh the lodge place because that's it right there because the sign says so let's go on past well man right when you walk in the door there's all kind of stuff plus uh, we're gonna head back there in a minute but uh over here they have all kind of factory seconds it's on sale all kind of stuff on sale and uh oh they even got some duck fat in case you need some of that to cook with or you can just spray it in your mouth uh i don't recommend that but you know everybody does what they want to do sometimes and yep these are some new things these are pretty let's see let's take a look inside Look that. Those look too nice to cook with. <laughs> and there's all kind of stuff to cook with. There's some different mixes to make these come some cornbread, proper con, and a, uh, a black iron skillet. All kinds of good stuff. Well, I'm going to start out with the wall of iron here. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. Let's see. This is pretty big. Wow, this is cool. <laughs> this is all kind of molds for making stuff. When they do the casting. Look that. Oh, look at the little, the little lamb one. And the one with the duck on it. Oh, and look, there's the one with a gnome on it. You get a cast iron gnome. This is pretty cool. They tell you all about making the, the pans and pots and stuff. Then they tell you how to clean them and keep them from getting all burnt. Because a lot of people don't know what they're doing and they ruin their pans and you like, you know, throw them in the dishwasher or scrub them with some, some, kind, of, some kind of stuff and mess them all up. But, uh, oh, that's a big iron bucket. But, uh, this is some old stuff that happened. Cast iron collectible stuff. Oh, look at that. They can make you a, a bunny uh, bread or something. <laughs> Literal bunny bread. And here's some little miniature uh, pans. Look at that. There's ye oldy wood burning stove. The Diamond King. And you can pop those things open and stick your head in there and all kind of stuff. Look at that. That's back when they made stoves out of iron. And you ever seen one of these on your fireplace? It looks a lot nicer than some of them. Oh, and there's a, a parlor stove. It had little doors on it, little windows so you could see the fire inside. And you open the little doors to throw stuff in there to burn, like your, your, your taxes and stuff. And that's a classic quadruple, quadruple edition, in case you didn't know. Uh-oh, I was walking up and this thing started moving. This is the ingredients to use to make large cast iron. And there's a giant electromagnet. I have to watch out or it might pick up on the plate in my head and start dragging me around. <laughs> so, I'm not sure what this I think it's going to make us do something. We can make our own iron. Okay, we got to fill the furnace. Let's see. I'm going to push that. Oh, look that. There we go. Crunch. Ooh, well, we didn't pick up too much, but we did pick up something. Now what do we do? Now we... Bring, got scrap steel? That's right. Let's see what else I can do. Hey, wait a minute. 
They dropped the scrap steel, now it's taken off. Okay, now. <laughs> I think I ruined it. Oh, look at that. There we go. Get some pig iron. We were in Birmingham, we saw some pig iron at that Vulcan Museum where I almost got blown off the top of that uh, statue thing. Let's see what happens now. Cool. Oh, there he goes. Oh, wait, did he get some? Oh, he left. It. We got an empty load there, folks. But that's okay. Cry show. Watch out. Here we go. Cruncho. Let's do this. Oh, where's he going now? Recycle casting. Oh, and look at down in there. It's all kinds of pots and stuff, all busted. It looks like my house. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up some stuff from my house. So I take good care of all my stuff. Except for what's in there. Uh oh. I didn't pick anything up this time. Well, that's okay. Oh, there it goes. Ah. Okay, now we're gonna do some alloys. There's a big old sack of alloys in here. Look at that. See what it looks like when it's about to come down on you. <laughs> there you go. Uh-oh. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. We didn't like the alloys. <laughs> oh, we filled up the furnace already. You see, that's what we did. Ooh. We put all that in there. Let's melt it. You melt all that and it's become a liquid iron. Yar! Oh, the pirates are coming. Uh oh. It dumps it in that bucket. Hey, yeah, look. There's that bucket. Ooh, look, it's all hot in there. It's all lighting up all hot. I don't know if that's going to move around. Oh, I didn't see this. There's frying pans hanging from the ceiling and moving around. <laughs> Mr. Lodge himself. Oh, and this looks like the secret Look Dad treasure vault. It's the legacy vault. Ooh, Look Dad doesn't have a legacy vault. I guess we're gonna have to start working on that. We just have a treasure vault. And Look Dad. It's all kinds of ancient stuff. All about there. Oh, and there's a, that's a treasure vault. Oh, look, there's a ghostly image over there. <laughs> that's the company safe from way back when. There's an oval roaster. Look all that. And there's some other hysterical, historical stuff about the process and everything. And this is, see they pouring that boiling hot iron into them little things, them little molds. And uh, this is the man who used to do all this stuff. Oh, I don't know if I can get that without a glare on. There we go. We can see the little story about him. If you know how to read, you can read that. Here. And uh, figure that out. That's pretty cool. And there it is. Making that. And there's some little iron tings they made over the years. Got a cat. Oh, 
Oh, look, at it. there's a gnome. It's a jolly gnome. He's jolly. When you hold your belly like that, it means you're jolly, in case you didn't know. Look that. Oh, look that. You know what that's for? That, that long weenie dog looking thing? You scrape your shoes on that and scrape all the mud and all the other stuff off. <laughs> and I don't know, he, he just stands there. And look, a little bitty dog. Look that. And that's what we used to use back in the olden days. In, in the Dutch oven, we'd make a cobbler in there. We'd talk about good, yeah. It was good, yeah. But, oh, I see some. Oh, and look that. Look that. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm all excited. Look that. Wait, I got to get back here. It's the world's largest cast iron skillet. <laughs> look that. It's giant. That's why I like it so much. Look that. Just think how, well, you can see how big the egg would have to be for you to cook it in there. Look that. That's giant. Oh, and look, I'm all excited again because it says boudin up there. <laughs> and it's got hawks. That's from, that's from my part of the country there. Look that. Yeah, but look that. <laughs> that's the world's giantest, uh, giantest uh, iron skillet. And here's some secret uh, information that you probably didn't know about too much. Uh, well, they, they make iron stuff in different areas. They have different factories. But the Griswold <laughs> factory should be pretty famous because uh, if you know the name Griswold, well, then you, then you know. And uh, they made like... A cast iron cowboy hat and the, and the little dogs. Look that. Oh, and look over here. Hello, kitties. <laughs> it's a gnome. And when you come out the museum, they also have a restaurant here where you can get all kind of exciting breakfast food and stuff. Well, if you like seeing all kind of stuff like giant skillets, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Here I am.